Good day everyone, you're watching Rate Your Fixes. On this video, I'm going to talk about how to fix in case if you get the error message which says audio service is not running on your Windows 10 machine. Now you would see this error message, especially when you're running a Windows troubleshooter on your computer. And once you have completed running Windows troubleshooter, you would get the message which says audio service is not responding. Now in order to fix the problem, you will have to uh, follow the couple of steps now the first and foremost step what you will have to do is you will have to check if the windows audio services are running and uh, on your computer and they are set to run as automatic so what you will have to do is you will have to open run window on your computer or in the, or in the search box you can go ahead and type services dot msc or else uh, you can also type run here in the run window once you have the run window, go ahead and type services.msc and once you click on OK, uh, it would open up a new window which says services.msc. Basically, this window will uh, display all the services which are running on the, on the computer. So on, under this section, what you will have to do is you will have to locate for Windows Audio. So let's locate for Windows Audio under services. Let's do, uh, now it will display the status right in this section. So in my case, it is set as uh, running and it is set as automatic. In case if it says that it has been stopped or it is set as manual, you will have to go ahead and uh, start the services and set that automatic. In order to do that, what you can do is you can highlight it, highlight the Windows Audio, go to properties. Under properties, uh, under the startup type, you can set as automatic and click on apply. And in case if it is stopped, what you can do is you can, uh, so let's assume that this service has been stopped. So what you will have to do is you will have to go ahead and click on start and make sure the startup type is set as automatic. Now there are other services along with this, there are also other services uh, which are, uh, which you need to check. So the next service, what you will have to go ahead and check is Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. So what you will have to do is you will have to look for Windows Audio Endpoint Builder. So let's go ahead and check for that. So this is the service. You have to make sure it is running and it is set as automatic. So follow the same step. Do a right click, go to properties. In case if it is not set as automatic, select startup type automatic. In case if this option has been grayed out, um, what you can do is you can click on stop click on apply and then you will be able to uh, change the startup type to automatic so in my case it is already set as automatic so um, in case if it is set as automatic you don't have to worry you don't have to make any changes however you can go ahead and try restarting the services by right click and if you click on restart it will go ahead and restart the services okay so once this is done there's another service what you will have to check is you will have to look for a multimedia class scheduler so let's you can go by the um alf, go by the alphabetical in case if you if you don't see this um you can ignore it um you can look for the other service called rpc endpoint media manager or rpc endpoint mapper so you will have to follow the same step as what we did for the other services right click go to properties make sure it is set as automatic uh, in some of the cases, you may not be able to uh, change any services. However, in case if it is not running, um, what you would see is uh, it would you would have an option to restart the services. So you can go ahead and restart the service uh, under this section. So once uh, once you have validated RPC endpoint mapper, the next thing what you will have to do is you will have to look for remote procedure call. So let's locate for remote procedure call. This is a service. Uh, do a right click, go to properties and make sure it is running. So just like my previous services, it has been set as uh, it is, the options are grayed out. So in your case, if, uh, if it is not running, you would have an option to start the services and restart the services. The next service, what you will have to go is you will have to go ahead and check DCOM service process launcher do a right click in case um, the options would be grayed out because the ser services are already running so you can ignore uh, in case if the services are running you don't have to make any changes uh, click on ok so once you tried all these steps um, you can go ahead and reboot your computer 
and check if audio is functioning normally again otherwise um, you will have to follow the next step now the second step is you will have to go ahead and open the command prompt uh, in the search box you can go ahead and type cmd and you, you will have to run as administrator in case if you get user access control prompt you may click on yes or continue now in the command prompt you will have to go ahead and type or add a network services uh, using the command please make sure to follow this command carefully I will also mention this command in the video description. The command is uh, net space local group space administrator space forward slash add space network service. So in case if the network service is already uh, present on the computer, you would get a message saying that it is already present on the machine. In case if it is not listed, then you would get a ma message saying that the command completed successfully. So in my case, um, the specified account name is already a member of the group. So that's the reason um, I'm getting this error message. In your case, you would get a message saying that the computer the command completed successfully the next command what you will have to uh, run is you will have to run this command which says net space local group space administrator space forward slash add local service hit enter so uh, just in case if the command is added successfully you would get a message saying that the complete uh, the command completed successfully once you have added all these command um, once the command has been successfully executed you will have to go ahead and reboot the computer please make sure to restart the computer until and unless you restart the computer do not check uh, if the audio services are running so once your computer is restarted check if your audio devices are running uh, work working pro and run Check if your audio services are running and they are working as expected uh, and see if it works. Now, if it works well and good, you don't have to try the uh, third step. Now, the third step, what you will have to do is you will have to uh, go ahead and open the registry editor. So you can in the search box, you can go ahead and type reg edit or registry editor. And in case if you get user access prompt, you may click on continue or yes. Now, once you open the registry editor, uh, please make sure to follow the steps carefully in case if you delete any of the keys or make any of the changes, your computer might go to uh, no boot mode. So make sure to follow the steps uh, carefully. So once you're on the registry editor, you will see uh, my computer as the registry in case now you will have to go to navigate under HK local machine, expand HK local machine. Once you expand HK local machine, the next now is you will have to go ahead and expand system so once you expand system look for current control set not control set 001 current control set under current control set look for services under services you will have to look for audio endpoint That is, you will have to navigate to the uh, not navigate to the registry entry, which says audio endpoint builder right here. Under audio endpoint builder, once you have highlighted, you will have to look expand audio endpoint builder and uh, navigate to parameters right into this under parameters on the right hand side of your registry editor window under services dot dll. Make sure. Uh, the path or the value data matches as you see on the screen. I will also mention this step in the video description. Make sure it matches to the uh, file which says audio endpoint builder.dll which is under your system32 folder. So make sure this path matches with the one which you are seeing on the screen and on the computer. Once in case if it doesn't matches, you will have to copy the path and paste under this um, copy and paste the same path. Once this is done, you will have to go ahead and restart your computer and uh, check if your audio services or audio devices are running properly. Now, 
after trying all these steps in case uh, if you're still facing the error message then the last step what I would suggest you is to go ahead and uh, update your windows or the audio driver so there are different ways to update your audio driver uh, one way is to go to your computer uh, manufacturer website download the audio drivers from there the other option is go to uh, device manager under the go to search and go ahead and type device manager or else you can do a right click on the start button and go to device management uh, uh, sorry you will have to go under device manager not device management go to device Man so once you're on the uh, device manager you will have to go ahead and check for your audio drivers so you will have to expand your audio driver section under sound and video game controller so most of the cases it would be real tech um, and check do a right click and click on update driver make sure your drivers are up to date so these are the couple of uh, and once this is done you will have to go ahead and try to reboot your computer and check if your video uh, device is up and running now this should solve the problem in case if you're still facing a problem please leave me a comment in the comment section i will come up with a possible solution so these are the couple of steps which you can try to fix your audio services not running on your windows 10 machine um, so uh, i hope this video was useful in case if you like this video please make sure to hit the like button and do not forget to subscribe to my channel thank you have a great day